Hey everyone, it's Victoria, and I'm not sure if you know this about my videos, if you're new to my videos, but I really don't edit my videos, and it's really one take, so if I make a mistake, sometimes I'll add in an annotation, but if not, then just go with it, you know, I'm not doing this for any, you know, crazy editing stuff that's not going to go on, I'm not trying to, you know, make these elaborate videos, mainly because I don't know how and because I don't want to spend that much time on it I want to get out my thoughts and it's basically a vlog a video vlog so basically I wanted to talk about dairy how destructive it is I've spoken about it in other videos but there are newcomers that may have not seen old videos and the more and more experience I have the more I know about how this works the dairy industry is a very huge industry and it could lure you in with advertisements and they pay a lot of people off and a lot of schools are funded by the dairy industry which is why school lunches must have dairy in a lot of their dishes so without further ado I'd like to talk about the ills of dairy and what it's done to my own child and uh, maybe this can help a mother out there I don't know I wish I had known at the time that my daughter was young my daughter is now 14 years old and she drank, I, I breastfed, but after that she had some milk and some dairy products and some stuff with, you know, formula that had dairy later on, um, you know, at the tail end of my nursing, I nursed for a year, and someone told me to continue with formula, and then I had the soy one, I was like up in the air, I didn't know which was healthier, I grew up on dairy thinking dairy was okay, I didn't know at the time, I didn't know how bad it could be. I did have a feeling about it because I knew a little bit about macrobiotics, but the macrobiotic diet, which said dairy was bad, but I didn't know for sure. So what happened was my daughter was three years old and unbeknown to me, because no pediatrician caught this, she was basically deaf. She had like an ocean in each ear that wasn't clearing out and I had no idea because it wasn't caught. And because it wasn't caught by a pediatrician, why would I ever think to go to a specialist? Well, she was evaluated by a private school, and the school said that they didn't understand what she was saying. And I'm like, well, she's like two and a half. Why would you understand what she's saying? Thinking, my kid's perfect, and there's something wrong with this person evaluating my kid. Well, it turns out that it wasn't perfect and she was basically deaf because she couldn't hear anything. She was frustrated also and I didn't know why. And I had gone to a specialist to find out why. And the specialist said, let's try her on antibiotics for a while and let's see what happens. Well, it was a really strong antibiotic because she was getting ear infections all the time, like constantly getting them. Every month I was at the doctor's office with ear infections for her. And it was just getting a little bit crazy, you know, I, I didn't think that was normal. But who was out of question? A pediatrician, you know, this doctor. So I've had several doctors because I've moved several times and no doctor caught it. So there I was thinking, oh my God, let's try antibiotics and that can't be good. They're like, no, 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 it's safe. So she's three years old and the strongest antibiotic there is and it doesn't go away. Doctor suggests, the specialist was one of the best in New York, suggests that she gets tubes put in the ear. Those are little plastic tubes that you put and it drains out the water. I'm mortified. Put my kid under surgery? Are you mental? I went to another doctor um, in my local area and I said, it was a pre-op, and, and she had a little bit of a cold and I was really hesitant about putting her under the knife and I was like, you know what? Tell me what I want to hear. Do I need to put this girl on surgery tomorrow? And he says, why rush it? You shouldn't rush it. You shouldn't do that. And you should just, you know, let it, let it be and let it take its course. Let it take its course. My husband, who's not a panicking guy, like he doesn't panic about anything. He's like, do the surgery. I was just like, wait, maybe I could take her off dairy. Doctor, the pediatrician said, that has nothing to do with it. Dairy is actually really good for her. And taking her off dairy would be detrimental. These are, this is what I've heard. So, who was I who was I to really question it after that, right? I'm a new mom. I don't know anything. I call the specialist one more time. The specialist says, if you don't take your daughter in, 
she could possibly get meningitis because there are things, there's bacteria in there and it can go to her brain and she's too young. My husband's like, do it. I do the surgery. She literally had a change within seconds. I mean, we went in the car on the way to the surgery. She said nothing of the radio on. On the way back, she said, Mommy, the music's too loud. And I didn't change a thing. So she heard everything after that. And it took her time to learn words and learn things that she was probably frustrated that she couldn't even understand because she couldn't hear anything. She has a beautiful voice, really beautiful voice, but unfortunately she's tone deaf. She can't hear herself singing, so she doesn't get the tone. I'm a singer, and my other daughter, who's nine, is a singer, and she sings beautifully and has a really good ear. And it's a shame. I really actually blame the freaking dairy. I really do. I've never had more problems than when I had my kids on dairy or myself. I had sinus infections every month of my life because of dairy. When I took the dairy out, there were no more sinus infections ever. Like, ever. This is like seven years ago that we're talking. My daughter never went back to the doctor for an ear infection again. Ever. Does that not make a connection to somebody? I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, the tubes are one thing, and then the tubes fall out, but they can get clogged again. The doctor said it's not guaranteed. She could actually go, have to go for another surgery. Never again. Took out dairy. It takes years. It doesn't take a day. It doesn't take a month. It doesn't take two months. It takes years for that shit to get out of your system, out of your tissue, out of everything to regenerate. Your cells, it's like caught up in all these cells and stuff and in your fat cells and whatever it is. The body doesn't get it. It just doesn't. And you could say organic and I could say, well, then do you have organic cigarettes? Because it's the same exact thing. It is an animal product. I already want to get into like what it does to the animal. I mean, these dairy industries and stuff, are, what it's doing to the animals and how they basically rape the cows. I don't know. This is what I've been told. This is what I've seen on YouTube. I don't know the 100% truth of it. All I can say is what I know for sure. I am really, really fed up. I'm fed up of not knowing. I'm fed up of parents that are brand new, that are into like health and everything and don't know about dairy. To get all the organic stuff aside and understand this, the one thing I could say for sure is that dairy has poisoned me. It's poisoned my kids and it is never, ever a good idea. And you know what you eliminate after that? You're probably going to eliminate coffee, which is addictive. You're going to probably eliminate every single dessert you've ever had because it has dairy in it. And who the heck wants the alternative margarine that's like not even food, bugs don't even want it. So what are you missing exactly? Nothing. You know why? Because there's almond milk. There's even cashew nut buttermilk. I mean, there's, I mean, there's so many alternatives to dairy that are so much better. I just don't even know where to go with this. I don't know what else to tell you, but it is completely linked to what I said. And, and T. Colin Campbell, I listened to him at the uh, Vegetarian Society in Hawaii last year, and he said to the vegetarians in the audience, it's great that you're vegetarian, it's a great step. But if you're not taking out dairy, you don't know the detriment that you're causing. Just a little bit of dairy turns on the cancer gene. Holy shit, it turns on the cancer gene. You have a cancer gene, and it's going to be turned on because of fucking dairy? Sorry, I don't really curse in videos, but I'm really, really fed up about this. And i got to say, get off the dairy. If there's one thing you need to take off and out of your life, it's dairy. That's my testimony. Hope it helps. Take care, everyone. Bye.